Am I in this cave? Winters, a small country to the north. Well, this is a massive crib you got here, Jeff. Snowwood boarding house. Oh, never mind. E boarding house. Lord. I am Paula, and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you are our friend who we've never met, but you are our one and only hope. Oh shit, we got my boy Jeff. He's all twos. Ah, Jeff, I just dreamt that you were and you and I were taking a walk. I was wrong. So, Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? You know the dorm rooms, right? If you get caught. You get punished big time. What's wrong, Jeff? All right. There must be some reason I don't understand. I won't stop you. But it's dangerous to leave without anything, without taking anything alone. Hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I hope you get out of here. Hey, let's go, Tony. We got two dollars. Come on, Jeff. Anyways, here's what I was able to gather. I heard a creature called Tessie lives in the southern lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a, made a model and placed it in the lake. I heard a more interesting story than the rumor about Tessie. It's about the cave boys at Stonehenge. Many claim to have actually seen them. I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of Stonehenge has an entrance leading someplace. Someday we should check it out. I'm sleepy. I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, do my business, and go to bed. Anyways, are they talking about some sort of model? Okay. It's just a rumor. But from what I was able to figure out... Holy shit. From what I was able to figure out in the in the City of Three was that it's run, it's basically run by zombies and ghosts. Like, there's there, there are... Zombies and ghosts are everywhere and whatnot, and they're all controlled by Master Belch, who I'm assuming, who I'm assuming might be, like, some sort of sanctuary monster or whatnot. And, um, there's a center in the town that's called, there's a center in the town, a zombie relief center. I actually ha didn't go there, I was planning to go there originally, but I just got caught up with it and everything. If you're going outside, stop and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell is still working hard in the lab downstairs. Anyway, these days, there are many dangerous animals wandering out around outside. Jeff, I can't believe you could do something so nasty. Oh, what, was it because of all of the cookies that I took? Hold on. I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. I hand decorated each cookie to pass out at the party tomorrow. I guess if I take one cookie, okay, I guess I'm going to have to take all the cookies again because I time traveled. Um, anyways, as I was saying, there's zombies and ghosts everywhere in the town, and I also had to fight a few of them. They're all controlled by Master Belch, who seems to be controlled by Gygus. There's a center for zombie relief and whatnot, and supposedly there's a path in the graveyard that if you follow it, it takes you someplace. Some might say it takes you to just someplace random. Some say that it takes you straight to Master Belch. I don't know. I think that's what the zombies were originally looking at me for. Um, it could be. It could very well be because Master Belch was there. Who knows? Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father, Dr. Andonuts, were here, he'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader of our Ultra Science Club. I heard he's a 
he's greater than Heinsteiner Heisenberg. Rumor has it he's also very strange. If you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent though. Oh, well, you can't be a greater uh, scientist than. If you leave, call me and I'll record your adventure. It's like saving the game. You can't be a better fucking scientist than Heisenberg. I mean, he made the best meth of all time. The Heisenberg. But yeah, um, so one of the, so the zombies look like they were hiding something. And then I followed this model lookalike into the hotel. Although to be fair, I kind of did want to go to the hotel just to like... How the hell do I use Big Ball Rocket Boy? Do I have to really do this to all of them? God damn it. So I tried to um, follow that model or whatnot, and apparently I just f fucking got jumped on by a bunch of zombies. So I still don't know. I still don't know what's going on. I still don't know what the center of that one. I still don't know what the center of that freaking city is like. And I just, like I said, I just ended up getting ganged up on. And now all of a sudden, I'm Jeff. Dog, what the fuck is going on here? What the actual fuck is going on? I think you can get out by going over the gate, but you need to get some stuff to take with you. Literally, I tried everything and they're not working. A key to a regular locker. I've tried literally everything. Nothing works. Miss Paula has some weird mystical powers and thinking this Jeff guy can help. Kinda looks like Lloyd, to be honest. What the fuck do I do here? What if I do this? Okay. Because I have no clue where to open this or whatnot. The key didn't work, did it? I thought that might be the case, so I just invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. If you are Dr. Ananut's son, you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. So you gave me a faulty key, and now you're giving me a machine that's supposed to work for a faulty key. Alright. Oh, I have to find out which locker works. Yes, I'm kind of a little upset that I didn't check out what that, what the big uh, zombie relief circus tent was. Because it was actually a circus tent in the center of the town. There's a home set. I will take it. Alright, so those rest of the lockers, it wasn't really anything useful. Although I did get a pop gun, which is actually um, a weapon that I can use. And I also got a broken air gun, so who the fuck knows what's going on. Alright. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where you're going or why, but remember, we're best friends forever. Alright. Drugstore best friend. What the hell? The bubble gum here is incredible. You should see the size of the bubbles I can blow. Blah, 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 blah. I don't have an ATM card as Jeff. Fuck. There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you can... If you... Buy a pack of bubble gum. You can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he'll cost you a buck. All right. Thank you very much for five dollars. I'll take the monkey. God damn it. 
I don't know what the monkey does, but... Cool, I got the monkey. The bubble monkey. Now, where the hell am I supposed to go? Fuck. Jesus Christ, come on. Come on. Dog, come on. Holy shit, the bubble monkey's popping off. Literally. I don't have any more cookie space for cookies. Look, just tell me where to go, game. I have no clue. Ooh, what is that? What is that? A gruff go? I'm dead. Aren't I? Oh, sh Five damage! Fuck! What do I do here? Just shoot it! Shoot the damn thing! Oh my god, I'm almost dead! Oh, would you look at that? At least leveled up. I still have no clue where I'm supposed to go. There's a tent though. The tame animals have become wild. Something evil is going on. So why don't you rest here for a short while, have something to drink, perhaps some tea. Yes, I use my boiled egg for nothing though. Fucking hell. Absolutely no clue where I'm supposed to go. Damn, I don't want this to be a long episode again. Fucking hell. Finally, some people. I heard that the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. Chew. I feel like I'm catching a cold. Tessie may, un may unexpectedly be living in the woods. I personally think so. God, I was kind of lost for a minute, not gonna lie. If I find Tessie, do you think I'll get in the newspaper? I'm looking for my 15 minutes of fame. Hey, you do you, chief. You do you. Is Tessie supposed to be like a Sasquatch or something? Or a cute little monkey. You like a piece of gum? Maybe monkeys don't like gum. You're right. We're here at Lake Tess, waiting to see Tessie. We're known as the Tessie Watching Club. So you've also been been bitten by Tessie Mania. You're in luck. You're gonna be able to see Tessie tomorrow. I can't wait. To cook for the Tessie Watching Club, how about some stew? I don't know, there's no need to pay me. You're a friend who I have never met before. Jeff, head south. I am Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Breaking through a night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can. Hey, the fence spray. Hey, let's go. You know what? Let's let's go to sleep again. Let's go to sleep again just to see if we fixed the pop gun. Nothing. All right, fuck. It was worth a try. God, where am I supposed to go now? They said south. I'm going south. How south do you want me to go? Give me some gum now. I'll take care of everything.
Oh, is Tessie supposed to be Nessie? The Loch Ness Monster, not Sasquatch. Oh, would you look at that? And don't just leave me here. Alright. Let's fucking go. What, was that it? Oh, come on. Well, at least we saw Tessie, I guess. Now I gotta keep going south. Oh, boy. Dog, come on. Oh my god, where's my pencil eraser? You're kidding me! You're joking me! Oh, fucking hell. The dungeon has no entrance fee. Welcome to my modest dungeon, Brick Road. Oh, it's a fucking maze as well! It's not like I could even use PSI to begin with! For fuck's sakes, let me just attack this stupid duck already. Oh my fucking god. Just so much crap that I have to do already here. You know, you know what? I'm I'm so far deep into the story of Jeff now. Like, I almost feel like I have to split this into two episodes. And I, I'm sorry that you're gonna have to listen to like my sick ass for like two straight episodes, maybe even three, because I am still thinking. Oh, why are there more? Fucking hell, man. I'm sorry that you have to hear like my sick ass, but oh well, I guess. <laughs> Come the fuck on, people! Please. I just want to go back to the story of fucking Ness and Paula. This bubble monkey is like fucking useless now. Doesn't do shit. He's like pokey. Actually, no. Even he has. Even... Dog, let me finish the damn battle. Oh my fuck! I am about to lose it. I am straight up about to fucking lose it. And I hit the wrong one as well. Stop scratching your head and do something, you fuck. Okay, please don't hit me. Okay, it didn't hit me. Now, oh, let me kill it! Thank you, I'm at 6 HP now. How much XP do I have? Okay. Right, that's, that's not enough, that's not enough. That's straight up not enough XP over what I had to deal with. Fuck off, game. Fuck off. What? Watch for falling materials, brick road. Dog, 
for fuck's sakes. Jesus Christ. Fuzzy pickles, I guess. Holy shit. I am... I am so out of the loop right now. Like, I feel like shit. This dungeon's making me feel like shit. I want to save my fucking progress so I can go back with Ness and Paula. And I have to deal with this dickhead. What does Spy even do? You know what? Fuck. No, I'm not even gonna bother. Just fuck, fuck off, you stupid duck. A croissant. I did all of that for one fucking croissant. Oh my god. Does my insecticide work here? Please tell me it works. It did not work. Fucking amazing. I'm finally done with this godforsaken dungeon. On the bright side, I at least got a better weapon for Jeff. Yes, I want to keep a record. Let's just get out of here for fuck's sakes. Maybe it was too easy? My name is Brick Road, the dungeon developer. Fuck you, Brick Road! Honestly! I devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. Ananut's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man. A first combination of human and dungeon history. Let's meet again once I become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Yes, for the love of God, please. But that also means I just wasted a bunch of cookies for nothing. Fuck. Oh well. I'm not even gonna bother resetting time just to get those cookies back because there were so many! Fuck my life. Alright, I'm taking out the stupid mouse first. Because of that. Because of that! I can't deal with this shit right now. Damn right, it didn't work really well. You're dead. Fuck off. Get out of my sights. Oh my god, I wanted to get the present first. You fucking rat. I'm tired of these rats. Let me attack first, for fuck's sakes. I just had it. I've had it with everyone. I've had it with everything. I've had it with my illness. I've had it with this game. Today's just not the day. Uh, I'm just gonna go fucking wild. I don't give a shit. This is what you get when, <laughs> when I feel like shit. No shits are gonna be given, gonna be taken. No cares, no whatevers, whatever. You get the idea. Oh my god. There's a fucking mushroom, you're kidding me! Dog, how long is Jeff's fucking story? Oh fuck, now I have to deal with st the stupid controls again. This game could not hate me more on this day anymore. Holy shit. I don't get the mushroom. Let's fucking go. But there's ants on the floor. Fuck off. There's still more. Why? Oh my god, I'm about to have a heart attack from how much shit I've had to deal with this entire playthrough. Then these last potentially two episodes. It's fucking Jeff versus the world, baby. God, Jeff. At least Jeff is doing a better job than fucking Lloyd was. I mean, I guess Lloyd did save me at the end of beginnings, but like, I don't know, Jeff is holding up pretty well. There's another fucking rat! Come on! How long is this stupid cave? This game hates me! At least I can finally attack first. Thank you, I can attack first. And Mouse is not going anywhere. He's dead. He's going to heaven. Or hell. Better get. Yeah, he's going to hell. Boiler room of hell. Fuck him. F 
Finally, the end of the cave. Please. Fuck. Come on. What do you have here? A cheap bracelet. I'll take it. Arms. Cheap bracelet. You're joking me. No wonder this has been taking forever. I'm in a sanctuary. Oh, fuck off, game. You're really pushing my limits here. And there's another fucking mushroom there, for fuck's sakes. Let's RNG this. Alright, if I go down, will he still be there? No, he will not. That's what I like to see, baby. RNG at its finest. What is this? Oh, fuck. I'll just use the cookie. What is, what is this thing? Not the present. Fuck, what do we do now? Oh, you're kidding me. What do I do now? Where do I go from here? Monkey, you got anything that you want to do? Oh my god, thank you. For a minute, I thought you are going to be useless. Fuck, what got me? Oh my god, it was a stupid monkey. Well, it's not as much health as I would like to have, but I'm not going to use the croissant right now. Alright, dickhead. Only Ness can absorb the power of this place. Oh, fuck off. Really? Oh well. Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. And the bubble monkey fucked off. Really? My one ally in this entire, in this entire thing. He's just gone. Ugh. Oh, what? I thought they were allies. Fuck. Alright, cave boy, you're, you're dead. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Jeff, my boy. Kill it. Kill it, Jeff! Jeff, you weakling! Holy shit! God, Jeff! Why was this so fucking hard for you, you dipshit? Picnic lunch. What, what does that do? What does that do? Oh my god. Thank you. I really need it. kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that Stonehenge. Why are we in that Stonehenge? Uh, what's going on here? What the? For some reason, something looks like a very large iron eraser is in the way. Oh. Cool. First we got a pencil, and now we have an eraser. Very creative. Very creative, I see here. I am fucked. Never mind. I'm not. I thought you were just going to go straight into me. But he's a dumbass, so... Works for me. What do we got here? Mr. Brickrow, the dungeon maker referred you, right? 
And only that, what, who, my son? I can't, I can't believe it. So this is who they call Dr. Andonuts. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe 10 years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Oh, I was only offering. I almost like a donut right about now. You already checked out Stonehenge? Well, at least I asked. Okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. That girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase distorter that can connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you're bored, always listen for the messages that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The ROM machine over there is a Skyrunner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in. Let's get together again in 10 years or so. Damn, my G's already dipping. Holy shit. E equals MC squared. Cool. Yeah, no, he's just like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna see you again, so goodbye. Word, Chad. A broken pipe, hmm? Instant revitalization device. In only a few seconds, this machine fully revitalizes you. Just like a good night's sleep. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll also take this. Yes, thank you very well. Thank you very much, Maxwell. And I am gone. Wait a minute. Is this not the thing I was supposed to take? Dog, what is the thing I'm supposed to take? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna be lost again, aren't I? Dog, I'm tired. I've been recording for who knows how long. And you're really starting to piss me off. Fuzzy Pickles, I guess. You show up out of nowhere. And you're not helpful at all. You don't help my situation at all. I have no fucking clue where I'm supposed to go now. What the hell? Really, I was just supposed to do that. Uh, I was just supposed to walk into it. Even though I have, so I can inspect it. What happened? It's not moving. Hey, why don't you try pressing the button on the controller? What, this? Oh, that button. Sky runner, you say? Hmm? It's not really running through the sky. It's just kind of in the sky. Where the hell is this? It's not like I can even control where I'm going. It's not like I can really even have fun. It's just a cutscene that I gotta wait for. A desert? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of presents over there, all taken. Come on, don't cuck me out. Stop going back into the atmosphere and be like, Oh, is it this? No. Is it this? No. Is it this? Finally, we're in threed. Yeah, it is threed. Yeah, that's a big circus tent that I didn't get to go to. Okay, where am I going? Where the hell am I supposed to get off? Jeff, hurry the fuck up. Where am I supposed to get off? I'm pressing all sorts of kinds of buttons over here. Where am I supposed to get off? Where am I supposed to get off? I am pressing all the buttons in no, the no, man. I am mashing the A button like crazy. Oh, cool. 
cool, amazing. I guess it's just dead. Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. Skyrunner. I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. I don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong. Really nearsighted. Kind of shy. Tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. Hope you want to be my friend. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not going to be mean to Jeff anymore. Yeah, I'll be his friend. I'd rather be Jeff's friend and I I'd rather be Jeff's friend than Pokey's friend, that's for sure. Jeff looks kinda dope, not gonna lie. It's impossible to fix for the time being. Alright. Oh for fuck's sake, what am I supposed to do now? Oh would you look at that? Jeff's useful. Where am I? I just want to go home. Jesus Christ. And there are zombies here. Right, you know what? Fuck off. Fuck off, you. I've had it with your shit. I'm gonna bash you. I'm gonna use fucking PK Freeze on you. I'm gonna do everything that I can. Fucking destroy the shit out of you. 17 damage! 17 with PSI Freeze! Oh my god, maybe thunder? Hello? Animist, fuck. Paula, why do you even have thunder if it is not going to work? I just genuinely cannot take this anymore. I'm recording for nearly like two hours straight. My head hurts, I'm coughing like crazy. I'm still sick. I recorded these last two episodes together, so... Because of an oversight. Fuck, this isn't even a hotel. The hotel's all the way there. God damn it. Whatever. I better not see that bitch model in that hotel again. I want to see a fucking human being there. Yes. Thank you, for the love of God. Holy shit. Holy shit, you're a lifesaver. Anyways, if you liked the video, if you liked the last two videos, leave likes, comments, and subscribes on both of them. I'm gonna have to split this up in two parts anyways. Hopefully, I'll be better by the time that I upload these two videos. Anyways, my name is Pixel Love. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Memento Mori, why not? And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.